What's up everybody? Welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is John Hammond and we're still looking at Leviathan from the Over the Wire War Game. So we just got the password for Leviathan level 3, uh, the third level in the War Game. So let's go ahead and connect to this level. Alright, now that we are in, let's see what we've got here. We've got a, another set UID binary. Uh, we can tell because it's noted red here, and if we check out the permissions with ls -tac l you can see the S bit. So it is set UID binary. Uh, Leviathan 4 is the command or the, the user that we will elevate to uh, once we kind of run that binary as a command. So level 3, enter the password. Uh, what? I don't know the password. Okay. Um, it's probably wanting a string, so let's run strings on this. Um, we can pipe that to less so we can look through a little bit better. There's a you've got shell notification, uh, a word called secret. Maybe secret is the password. Let's find out. Nope. Okay. Uh, let's run L trace on it. Just had we had in some other levels. String compare Hono three three and cock. What? Why is that happening? <laughs> we didn't do anything with that whatsoever. We never supplied that data. Whatever. Um, whatever. Enter the password. Hello. It compares hello with some hex values and run string compare strcmp string compare hello new line and snl printf new line. Um, okay, well, obviously that, these two are not equal, so if we, let's try and run it with SNL printf. Level 3, password, oh, and we've got shell. Okay, who am I? I am Leviathan4. Perfect. Let us check out the password and move on. It's kind of a simple solution on that one. Again, a little bit of uh, L trace. Let's break out of this, note this as Leviathan 4, and connect now to Leviathan 4. Let's jump in. Nothing in the home directory, so let's check out it with hidden the hidden flag. Oh gosh, the hidden flag. <laughs> I could end my, end my YouTube career just like that. <laughs> Alright, CD... Uh, Dot trash. Let's check out that hidden folder. Uh, there is a file called bin. Okay. Um, and bin is a set UID binary. We can tell that it's red. And when we run it, it just prints out some binary things. Okay. It doesn't look like it changes. So what is this spelling out? It's about of uh, zero and ones. It's clearly a message in binary. It looks like these are sets of eight. So it looks like these are bytes. Um... Let's do some command line kung fu to uh, figure out what this stuff really is. We can throw this to uh, like ask you to hex.com, but what's the fun in that? Let's uh, go ahead and replace all of these spaces with new line characters so we can process them on each line. And then let's do a little while read line so we can work with each of these in its own iteration. And let's convert them with um, BC. If you haven't heard of BC, it um, I consider it like binary conversion, but it is just a command line, I don't know, it, whatever. It, it will convert between bases. Base converter, I like to think of it as. We can say, I want um, the ending base so output base equals 16, while the input base, or I base, equals 2. And then we'll pass in the line that we're working with here. And then we will give that to BC. Cool. So now we've got a bunch of hex. And if we bring our lines back, or if we remove those new lines, just like we had before, so now it's all one line, we can pass this to XXD, tack R to reverse, and tack P for the printable stuff. And now we have some seemingly uh, password-like string here. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and save this. Oh, I don't want that new shell. 
let's let's go ahead and break out. I'm pretty confident that's the password. That is what Leviathan five, right? Yes. So paste that in. Let's try to connect to Leviathan five with that as our password, and we are in. Perfect. Okay, so that was the password. So I did a little bit of a command line kung fu there. Just uh, read through each of those bytes that were displayed in binary, converted them from base 2 to hexadecimal, base 16, and I did that so I could just give them back to XXD. Um, and XXD, as we've seen in at least Bandit and other videos, uh, other tutorials and guides and stuff like that, that will take a hex dump. Um, so we were able to use the tag R and the tag B to reverse it and put it back into ASCII, and that got us the string. So now we're into level 5, and we'll jump into that in the next video. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you're enjoying these. I uh, hope I'm not going too fast. Hope you're enjoying the content. Hope you're learning a little bit if you haven't seen that stuff before. But uh, thanks again. See you soon.